Hello! If you clicked on this video, you probably have the same issue as me. You are constantly changing your CSGO sensitivity in hopes of finding a perfect one. Recently, I posted a video titled Found my perfect sense with Gpro X Superlight. That of course woke up questions, as in, how did you manage to find it? Well, to start we have to acknowledge the fact that there is in fact no such thing as a perfect sense. Earlier, I would think that it's impossible to miss shots if you are in a perfect sense. And well, I guess I was wrong, since everyone misses shots. And even the best of the best, such as Simple Device, Nikos, IV, Monizy and other pro players are missing shots. With that being said, don't change your sense just because you missed one or maybe a couple of shots. It's okay, it happens, we all do sometimes miss shots. Now, to the point of this video. How can you find the sense that's most suitable for you and what should you be looking for while choosing your CSGO sense? I'd like to divide this video up into parts, starting with pre-aiming ability. Your sense needs to be stable enough for you to consistently be able to keep your crosshair on your enemy while pre-aiming them. The best way to find your pre-aiming sense is by either playing aimbots with walls or pre-fire maps. Here you can see me playing around with the bot trying to keep my crosshair on his head as much as I can. When I feel like I can do this consistently enough, I move on to pre-fire maps. Here I look for being able to kill my enemies as fast as possible while also being as consistent as possible in my pre-aims. If I feel like my sense is too shaky, I would lower it. If I feel like I under-aim a lot, then I would higher it. You have to end on a sense that feels natural to play on whether you've warmed up or not, and that keeps your aim consistent no matter how focused you are. Some issues I've had with playing in a higher sense is that I can play good one game, but in the next game, as soon as I lose focus, I start missing easy shots, and that should not be the case with a perfect sense. The other part of this video is movement. Your sense needs to be high enough for you to be able to properly check your corners without the risk of losing rounds because you can't turn around fast enough. It might occur that your sensitivity for pre-aiming is incredibly low, and that it works in the pre-aiming moment, but that you later cannot turn around fast enough to check your corner and you end up dying. In that situation, you should consider hiring your sense or trying out different settings, hence why I use mouse excel, but that is another topic to talk about. And the third part is putting it into a real game experience, with real people moving or shooting you back. This can be tested in different community servers, such as 1v1 arenas, where you put your perfect sense to use and check out how it performs in game. Important to notice here is that you don't have to win every single fight in this in order for your sense to be perfect, but you have to understand that the reasons you die is not because of the fact that you simply can't aim and choke easy shots. You can also play community maps that offer moving targets or simply play a deathmatch. Once you feel confident enough in your sense, go ahead and try it in a real face it or matchmaking game. But don't be too quick with conclusions and changes. Play a couple of games, see how you perform, are you dying because of aim related problems or are you simply making stupid decisions? With all that said, I hope that this video has helped you to find the perfect sense. I will leave my settings in the description below if you want to check them out. And feel free to share how you found your perfect sense in CSGO and also feel free to ask me questions. That's it for this video and good luck in your further games fellas.